Welcome back to Lantern Insights. For today's five minute duck tech, we're going to be looking at the Esper All the Tutors list. Uh, this is a list that I created about a month ago, and this is kind of the version of it that I've relatively settled on over, over uh, this testing period. So the, the goal of this deck is to play both War of Invention, Profane Tutor, and Urza Saga for maximized consistency. Just having so many cards that enable you to find all of your other pieces. Um, we're running Esper for Discard, Profane Tutor is the main black package, Blue for Word of Invention, and the white is mainly just for removal and some sideboard options. So looking over this deck list and we're able to main deck something like Curse Totem, I think this is very flexible. You don't obviously you don't have to main deck it. I think it is very dependent on the meta, but you have you have the ability to really play some singleton main deck cards like that. Like I could see Void Mirror if you know you were really worried about Cascade decks, although I wouldn't be too worried game one. Um, whether there's a lot of flexibility just with so much consistency. Kind of one of the main draws to this deck I would say is that it mulligans very well and it doesn't need to mulligan that often. So you don't usually have to go to five ever with this deck. I'd say most of your sevens are keepable um, and then if not you're usually sticking on six just because it's so so much redundancy and, and consistency where you know it, even if you have like one piece of the lock and discard like you, you have so many hits to get the rest of the lock compared to other versions where you know you have four copies of ensnaring bridge and maybe a couple profane tutors but they're going to be slow whereas here you know you got your word uh, word tutor or saga are all going to find your pieces which means your opening hands are very flexible additionally you know you open a lot of hands with one piece plus word of invention so if when you have that you only need to draw one of your two other pieces between lantern shredder and bridge where so if you have lantern plus word you're looking for either Codex Shredder or Ensnaring Bridge, not both of them. And there's added flexibility just being able to do that later. One important thing to note about the mana base is that there's not actually any basics in it. I think you can add a basic if you want a bit of protection against Field of Ruin. However, this uh, I think Mill being such a small percentage of the meta that I've elected just to not play any basics, you have... Uh, four pithing needles in your 75 and so you should be in all right shape against needle. Uh, moving to some of the sideboard options that this gets in, that this deck gets access to, one of which being get lost, where oftentimes um, the blue versions uh, typically with the white being our main removal color, anything that's kind of too high uh, mana value, so portable hole only hits two or less. I will say portable hole is very good with word of invention, both being able to tap to get your improvise bigger and find it with word is very strong. However, sometimes you need get lost. You know, if your opponent is on a ley line of sanctity deck, uh, if your opponent's playing big planeswalkers, anything like that, it can efficiently get rid of. You have ley line of sanctity, obviously for the burn, uh, aggressive hand, hate, that kind of matchup. Uh, we are playing 61 main deck. You can cut down to 60. I think you could cut the totem to get to 60. But sideboard cards like Ashiok is very strong against Titan, shuts down a lot. Ashiok, you kind of, it's the best when you can hide it behind a bridge and then when it can't be attacked. However, even if you just play it out, it can soak up a lot of damage for you in one turn. Uh, the rest of the sideboard may, is mainly singleton artifacts. So you kind of have a few cards that you play multiple of and then half your sideboard is just singleton cards. Because you're playing more tutors than just Urza Saga, you know, with Profane Tutor and Word of Invention, you have a lot of flexibility to search for these artifacts that you wouldn't in other versions, where essentially if you, if you bring in one copy of Damping Sphere, say you're f effectively playing nine copies of it with Word of Invention and Profane Tutor, and that just makes it a lot more consistent and able to find your hate. I'd say this version's probably at its best against some of the slower grindier decks like uh, Rhino's four color I think it's much better against than a lot of other versions um, it's going to be a, a slightly worse uh, against like the most like it's not going to be great against Titan Amulet obviously those matchups are going to be pretty bad regardless very weak to Blood Moon um, but has, has decent early removal and is going to be good against aggressive decks and Rhino's